Hello crafty friends, it's Jess for Mint Mondays with Mint Owl Studio and I am sharing another card with the Scripty Sentiment stamp sets from Mint Owl Studio. It's part of the February release so these are already available and I wanted to just show another card using just the sentiment stamp set because I think there's a lot you can do with just sentiments particularly because there are a few little images included in the stamp set. So I'm starting with some distressed stains. I picked a rainbow of colors because I love rainbow cards. As many of you know, and you can go over and check out my channel for more rainbow cards too. But I'm just making a stripe of each rainbow color across the cardstock here. And this is just regular cardstock. It's not watercolor cardstock, which you could use because distressed stains are quite wet. But there's no even real technique to this. It's just a literal stripe across. If for whatever reason you don't get the stripe as wide as you need it and have a little bit of white space, you could go over the stripe again. If you do want to get a little bit of blending between the colors, you can purposely lay the stripes over each other. And since distressed stains are a little bit translucent, one color will show through the other. And there was just little strips that did overlap for me, but I wasn't necessarily going for that look. I just wanted some bold, colorful rainbow stripes. Once I had my rainbow stripes going, I decided to stamp the sentiment, happy birthday. I stamped it one time with the verse mark because I'm going to do some heat embossing. So I used the powder bag, made sure everything was dry because distress stains are a wet medium, stamped it with the verse mark, and then I sprinkled some Hero Arts white embossing powder over the happy birthday. And this is so that this will be like the main sentiment that stands out. Then I'm going to use the same happy birthday sentiment to add some extra interest to this card. And I'm going to heat it with my heat gun, making sure that my heat gun is hot before I bring it to the paper to limit the curling. And um, then I will take the happy birthday sentiment and stamp it in some coordinating colors of Distress ink. So I happen to have a lot of Distress inks, and so I have the Sealess Preserves ink that matches the Sealess Preserves Distress stain. However, if you don't have a whole variety of Distress ink colors, you could use a color that is close, like any green is going to look good. I'm happen happening to use Mode Lawn Distress Stain with Mode Lawn Distress ink, However, any green is still going to give a very similar effect. If you don't have any colors of ink to go with it, then my next suggestion would be to take the Versa Mark ink, which is normally used for heat embossing, and stamp it and dry it without any embossing. Because the Versa Mark ink gives just that wet look and makes it look a little bit darker. To go one step further, if you felt like when you stamped the Versa Mark it wasn't quite dark enough, you could stamp Versamark and put clear embossing powder over it and that would make it a little bit darker and give a very similar effect as stamping with the same color ink is giving here. Once I had that rainbow of sentiments completed, I just cut it with an MFT stitched square die to add a little bit of interest around it and then I'm going to put it on some black cardstock. I absolutely love the way that rainbows pop off of black so I usually put them on a black card base. But I always like to add just a little bit of interest. I don't want to just have that much black cardstock sticking out. Unless you use a really high quality black cardstock. But I kind of tend to buy mine in bulk. So I'm adding some interest to it. And I'm taking that arrow stamp from the same Scripty Sentiments stamp set. And I'm just stamping it with black VersaFine ink. This is a wet sticky ink, but it's also a highly pigmented ink, and so it gives a really good clear impression, and so I know that I'll get great solid stamping with it. However, this black ink is definitely going to dry back, and it's going to be very, very subtle. You're not even going to be able to notice it in photographs here, but it's just enough. And then I took some of the white sequins from the Peach Passion Mix and glued them on for a little bit of extra pizzazz on the card, and that is it for the card today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're interested in these products, be sure to check out Mint Owl Studio. There's also links to our social media because we'd really love to see you share some of your creations using Mint Owl Studio stamps. Thanks for watching. Bye.